Hey, I'm Daniel. This here's Sandy. We're from Saskatchewan, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh with his buddy Diesel on TJV. Enjoy. That's early. I don't even think the good Lord is up yet. Where am I going? My coffee's this way. So we have a fertility appointment today. And they moved our appointment without explanation earlier. And we have to drive almost two hours with traffic to get there. So our appointment was for 9.30 in the morning, I think, which was already kind of, you know, that's about as early as we wanted it. You know, we have to leave here at 7.30. That seems like a good time. Then they called yesterday and apparently either they double booked or someone just, you know, came in that was more important than us, more importanter, and bumped us and took our 9.30 and then they gave us 8.15. So now we've got to leave at 6.15. Well, before 6.30, it's 6.15 right now. So we got to leave now. But we need our coffee first. That's okay, we still get to see the doctor today. We just don't, we were kind of put off about why they would change our appointment time and not give us any explanation. But here we are. It's coffee time. It's the woman of the it's hour. Time. You don't have much for lighting in here. No, it's too early for that go. stuff. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, could you guys not see me before? I'm only half awake. I haven't had, I've only had half a coffee. Hello. The woman of the hour. It's me. What this whole day is about. Well, I can't make a baby alone. It's true. I do help. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, today we got to, uh, uh, we're going in for our uh, IUI course. No, it's that. Counseling, counseling meeting. meeting thing. I think they're just explaining what it really entails and making a signed consent before they Yeah, turkey well, based me you specifically she's she they want to explain to her exactly what they're going to do And exactly I guess what the risks could be and the probabilities of pregnancy They want to explain every little detail to her and then get her to sign a consent form so that which makes sense I mean so I can't see them they're messing with your body So you have to know exactly what exactly what they're going to do and what the risks are, if there are any. I haven't heard of any risks. I mean, it's just IUI. It's not like it's I IVF. That's a little bit more of a invasive procedure. I think they're about the same with invasiveness. It's just that it's a different process because, oh yeah, I guess because they remove your eggs first with IVF, whereas mm -hmm. they don't have to remove my eggs with this procedure. Yeah. So we're not going in for the procedure today. We're just going in for that consent and the course today to teach us what it's all about and make sure that it's what we want to do. And we already know it's what we want to do. So uh, it's not going to happen today, but probably next month, I'm guessing, we're going to make an appointment for as soon as possible. And pretty much what this is, is uh, to put it in simple terms, it's the elevator ride I was telling you about. It just takes all all my guys and just, you know, they, they usually have to take the stairs. So the doctors are just going to put them in the elevator and give an elevator ride to the top instead. They're a little lazy. They're truckers. <laughs> They're professional sitters like me. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's that. We gotta go into Winnipeg. Hopefully, it goes smoothly. Almost failed. Almost fell? Almost. Careful. Pure ice on that curb. YouTube will be very upset if we fall and hurt ourselves. Not as upset as I would be. <laughs> so, uh, we're here in Winnipeg. We just parked. So, we went to go see the good doctor. It looks like the IUI will probably be early next month. Uh, but I've got to be home right on the right day. Because as soon as we get the go ahead that uh, she's ready, we got to go in the next day. So I've got to be home then. It's not supposed to be as painful as my HSG x ray. 
but there is a high risk of tubal pregnancy because I'm releasing so many eggs right now. Yeah, so uh, we went through all the risks and everything and had to sign the consent form and uh, see where we're, where it goes from here. Maybe next, maybe next month. First, we have to go into the clinic here and do some more blood tests for Brett. Gotta go check my thyroid levels because I've got hypothyroid. Very That's mild hypothyroid. Very mild. Still. I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that's good about me is my fertility, and unfortunately, yeah. that's the only thing Josh has got wrong with him. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, I got plenty of players. Maybe I shouldn't call them players. I got plenty of guys. Plenty of guys, but they're a little lazy. So they just need to take an elevator to the top. They don't want to climb the stairs as well. They need a new compass, too. Yeah. But. Of course, today is the first really cold day of the year. It was about minus 27 when we woke up. an hour after we woke up, and that's when we checked the temperature. It was about minus 30 this morning. Well, they didn't take all our blood. Still left just enough in there for us. We're back at Steinbach. We're going through the, the car wash because this, this vehicle is filthy. Because he was driving it? He was filthy when I got into it. So uh, we're getting the car wash here, got to run a few errands around town, and then we got to run home and try to get my truck started. It's still minus 24 when we got back to town here. My, my block heater was plugged in all night and all morning, so it should, should start. The batteries don't like being cold all the time, though. Got to move ahead here. They're moving us home. Oh yeah, I forgot Holy crap, that scared me. Woo! I always forget about those. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Third park. Shut the engine off. That dude's thing. So yeah, the, the batteries don't always like uh, being cold. They don't always have full charge, so I may have to charge them up a little bit today yet this afternoon before I get it going, but we should means, be able to get the truck going. Which means I get to keep him longer. Mm-hmm. I should be able to get it going. The truck's always been good. And I have all the stuff I need for any problems that could arise. How about diesel? Does diesel have a parka? Does diesel have a parka? Does diesel have booties? Does diesel have a toque? No, then you should just leave him home with me. Well, what about me? It's too dangerous for him. Gotta protect our children. What about me, though? You've got toques. You've got plenty. Got a whole bag of them up in the closet at home. I do have a, a big inventory of toques. I even threw some out. <laughs> Did you? You a threw my toques out? They were really gross and like stained and like they were sitting in a box for years. So they were like moldy and full of gunk. And I just, I wasn't gonna wash them. You gotta watch this one. She'll take your stuff when you're gone. She'll throw it out. Only if it's gross stuff. Nothing useful or in good shape. My mom does the same thing. I have to start locking my stuff up. <laughs> locking up all my clothes and stuff. <laughs> I always get you new stuff. That's true. I have, a, I have a pretty big wardrobe. I have lots of clothes. Probably got more clothes than her. More that fit you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, I washed the truck, remember, before I parked it. And I thought I had de-iced the locks. Turns out in minus 30, they, they, they froze solid again anyway. We don't have any de-icer, but I have my wife's hair dryer. Let me in! Let me in! I want to get in! Nice! Nice! Oh, oh, now the door's frozen shut. Oh, there we go. Whew, thanks. Let's see if she starts. Oh, neutral's not detected. We're not in neutral. Of course we're not. Oh, why did I leave in here? Here we go, come on, girl. Nope. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to give those batteries some extra juice. So the batteries are pretty much on their last legs and we're replacing them next month. They do hold a charge, but if you leave the truck sitting, 
the charge only lasts about a few days maybe and uh, there's nothing drawing from it because I turn off just the cold weather isn't helping so we go into our garage and we get some extra juice oh it's nice and warm in here right on oh we washed the terrain in town so I just turned the heat up in here a little bit to dry it all off and so it doesn't do the same thing all right here's our power go and hook this up for about half hour to 60 minutes at uh, 40 amps on 12 volt half hour should do it but it might take an hour depends it's really cold out so it needs a lot of juice so while I'm getting ready to leave on my trip I'll let this charge I have to do this pretty much every time in the winter. It's, it's a pain. Even with brand new batteries, this cold weather, minus 30, with the wind chill, like with the wind chill, it's feeling close to minus 35, maybe minus 40. It's, it's cold, nothing wants to move, and that truck's been sitting there all weekend and doesn't want to wake up. So uh, it's, it's, it's pretty normal. It's not out of the ordinary for this to happen. That's why I have this on hand. But those batteries do need to be replaced, and I do have a plan for that. So this is where the batteries are on Volvos. I have four of them in here and they all need to be replaced. They're doing all right now. They're just definitely, definitely on their way out. You know, I can wait another month. Let's just hold this with the other hand. Let's connect this. So you connect the positive to one side over here. They're all connected. Negative over here. Just gotta plug this in and uh, fire her up. And Oops, my glove was getting in your way there, but then we wait. All right, we're gonna go try to start this thing up again. I went and tried it after a half hour. Still didn't have enough juice, so it's been another half hour. Hopefully it's got enough to turn her over. All right, so we're gonna set these stairs up here this so I can step up there make sure it's locked in there like that that's in there let's see okay let's do it cycle it's cold it's cold here we go, here we go. You guys ready? Nope, still not. It must not be charging properly. <sighs> Old Chevy to the rescue. I've done this before. I might need to get a new charger or I don't know, but I'm going to hook my pickup battery to the truck, boost it with the pickup over some time. I've done that several times before. It does work. It uh, doesn't always go quickly, but that charger doesn't seem to be charging. So we're going to try this. Got to get this truck started. Got freight to deliver. Winter time. Whew. Well, we got her running. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whew. Oh, so happy, so happy. Diesel! Diesel, I can't see you, Diesel. I can't feel my face. Ah. Uh, we just tied down our load. It was cold. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm an honest man. I'll look you right in the eye. It was cold. You wanna see it? It's a pretty simple, thank God. Let's go take a look at it. So there she was. That's our load. It's a load of lumber going down to Iowa. Ooh, it's windy out here now. Thank goodness we... We're finished. For my tarps. Let's get out of here. Wow. 
Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus. Whew. That's cold. It's colder than a witch's heart out there, man. That's not the saying either. Oh, 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 wipers, calm down, calm down. That's not the saying, but it's colder than a witch's heart out here. It's colder than a witch's something else, too. Let's get out of here. Okay, you know what, actually? Let's take, I'm not gonna need my steel toes now because I'm leaving the yard. Let's take those off. I have different driving shoes. They're not as clunky as my, they're, uh, <laughs> these. They're not as clunky as my big, uh, steel toes but it took all day i got the truck running at 4 30 in the afternoon it was pretty much already dark and now the time is seven o'clock so we came all the way out here uh and picked up the trailer where it was waiting for us i think we're ready to rock and roll oh i can feel my face again oh that's nice that's nice who wants to talk to me? Somebody's in a hurry. I wish I could do that. You know? Turn on the beacons and give her. So we're here in North Dakota. That was the North Dakota State Police. They're in a hurry to get somewhere. 